everyone. Today I will be showing you how to build Derek from Thomas and Friends. So he first appeared in the Season 5 episode, Double Teething Troubles. He sadly never appeared after that. Minus one cameo in Calling All Engines. But I still love him. And... But yeah, that's about it. Let's get started with building him. So, put a red concrete three blocks above the tracks. Make it five blocks wide. Put a polished blackstone brick wall on either end of the buffer beam with a dark oak trap door in front of it. And then in the middle of that, put a dark oak fence with a dark oak fence gate. And beside that dark oak fence, put two nether brick fences. Alright, so after that, you want to grab a black concrete and make it 31 blocks long. So, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. 28, 29, 30, 31. And after you do that, you want to make it um, so that it's on these two blocks as well and stretch it back also 31 blocks. Alright, so after you have done that, you want to do the same thing you did in the front pretty much the exact same buffer beam polished blackstone brick wall on either side trap door in front of that dark oak fence another brick fence is beside it dark oak fence gate and something I forgot originally when I did the front buffer beam put a set of dark oak trap doors underneath the buffer beam like so. And try not to open them. Um, after that, you want to go up to the front and put in two upside down polished blackstone brick stairs on top of each other next to the uh, buffer beam with a dark oak trap door underneath for the ladder and then you want to take and you want to take a polished blackstone brick slab and drag it the whole way across this running board up until this last block this last block you will place two polished blackstone brick stairs again also with a dark oak trap door for the ladder and you will do that on both sides so two Polished blackstone brick stairs, dark oak trap door, and take the polished blackstone brick slabs and just put them along the whole side like this. And you want to do that on 
this side as well. Alright, so after you've done that on both sides, you want to go up to the front again. And uh, grab out yellow concrete. Yellow concrete. Green concrete. I forgot what that block is called. I'm so stupid. Oh, it's Dark Prismarine Slab. You want to grab those. Um, up in the front. You want to create a... 3 by 3. Of yellow concrete. And usually for yellow, I use the new bamboo block. But... It appears there isn't any bamboo uh, slabs. So, I will have to use oak for this. So, put an oak slab above that 3x3, three three, along with a yellow concrete. And do that on the other side, too. Like so. And now you want to grab your green concrete, green wool, pris dark prismarine slab, and warped trap door. So Derek's vents are different on both sides. It kind of varies. Like this side is equivalent to what it is on that side. It's hard to explain. But, yeah. Anyway, for this side of the vents, you want to place two green wools and a, another green wool up here. Dark prismarine slab. Put it both down here and up here. To make it look like two, um, two vents. And you want to do that again, but keep a gap in between it of green concrete, two green wool, prismarine slabs, another green wool. And then you want to add one, two, three, four, five, six blocks of green concrete, one, two, three, four, five, six, and just fill them in completely like this. And then put dark prismarine slab above all of that. Now for this side of the vents, you want to add a green wool and then grab some dark prismarine stairs and place two upside down ones. So one, two. Place two sets of two upside down ones on top of each other. Green concrete. Blow that. Fill that in. And the rest of it, similar to this side, is green wool. Not green wool. Green concrete. And fill that all in. And then you want to grab the dark prismarine slab. Put that above there. Now you want to grab out a black wool. Add a green concrete behind the yellow concrete. And then add a black wool, and the rest of it's all green concrete throughout the middle, like that. Then you want to add two green wools up here, like that. Two green concretes on the outside, and two dark prismarine stairs above them, like so. 
And that's pretty much the default thing for um the front and back. They are swapped on each side, which is something I noticed in the roller picks while making him. So it's a bit funky. On this side, you want it to be the opposite of this. So add a green wool. Two sets of two upside down dark prismarine stairs. Green concrete. And then it's like six green concretes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fill that all in. On this side, two green moles on top of each other. Skip a block, two green moles on top of each other. Put dark prismarine slab on the upper and lower half of that. Put a green wool above each of those dark prismarine slabs. Fill that in with green concrete. Six green concrete stacked up three blocks high. Green concrete in the middle. And a dark prismarine slab above all that. And now it comes to adding the actual details. So, skip a green concrete from here. And add the black wool for this top vent. And, uh, add two green wool right here. Two green concrete. Two dark prismarine stairs. Drag the dark prismarine slabs and green concretes back. And now we want to make the cab. So go up three blocks high. <coughs> one, two, three, one, two, three. Grab out polished diorite stairs, mossy cobblestone wall, birch trap doors, and polished diorite slab. And that's what we'll need for the main part of the cab. So you want to Add two blocks of green concrete right here, where the cab starts. Add a polished diorite stairs facing you on each side, both up and down. Add a birch trap door facing away from you when you open it. Add a mossy cobblestone wall above that birch trap door. Now you want to add... So it's flipped on either side. So for this side of the cab... Where the face will be in the front, you want to add two polished diorite slabs, skip a block, two polished diorite slabs. In between them, add two polished diorite stairs up and down, facing near the front of the cab. Add two green concretes. 
skip a block, add polished diorite slab. Let me just fix that real quick. I'll fix it later. Skip a block, add a polished diorite slab. Polished diorite stairs facing near the front of the cab. And on the other side, polished diorite stairs facing away from the cab. And then, you want to copy the window design from the front of the cab over to here. So two green concretes. Polished diorite stairs. Both facing you when you place them. Add three. Birch trap door. Open it up. Mossy cobblestone wall. Add it to there. And then on this side of the cab, you want it to essentially be the opposite. So, two polished diorite slab. Skip a block. Two polished diorite slab. Polished diorite stairs facing you when you place them. Add a green concrete in the middle. Skip a block, add two polished diorite slab above and below each other. Polished diorite stairs on either side facing away from the slab. And then you want to grab out black concrete and fill the cab in. You want the cab to be completely filled in so you don't see through it because if you were able to see through it it would just be hollow and there's no real use in looking into a hollow cab so just kind of fill it in and have it all blacked out like that and then you want to add a set of three green concrete Just stretch it out as far as the cab goes. Fill in the rest of this with green concrete. And you want to do that to the other side. Alright, when you're done with that, you want to edit the cab to be a bit more detailed. So on this side above this window break these two blocks and add two mossy cobblestone walls beside that add a white stained glass pane to be the handrails beside the white stained glass pane right here you want to go to the middle and add an open frame and put a red terracotta in it for the BR logo Break out these two blocks next to that red terracotta item frame and put an upside down and facing up breeze, uh, dark prismarine stairs. On this side, you want to do that same thing. So, break these two blocks above this window, add two mossy cobblestone walls. Beside that, add two white stained glass panes. Beside the white stained glass pane to the left, add an item frame with a red terracotta. And beside the red terracotta to the left, add an, ups, an up one and an upside down one for dark prismarine stairs. Then, you want to go to the cab and... Where this mossy cobblestone wall and birch trap door is, add two green banners to kind of cover them up. 
so you don't see them as well as you can right now, because otherwise it makes the cab look very open and you don't want that. Two green banners. Like so. And on the roof of the cab, grab out polished black stone brick slab. You'll also need some dark oak trap doors and black carpets. On the middle three, add polished black stone brick slab and just carry that to the back of the cab. That's the middle three blocks. And then... Skip a block on each side. And add dark oak trap doors to the sides of the dark prism... Uh, dark... Blackstone... The blackstone slabs. And then add a black carpet above the prismarine wall to give it that kind of curved roof look that Derek has. Don't know how to explain it. But that's pretty much the cab done. And speaking of banners, we have some banners to make. Alright, so for this part, you will need a green banner, a loom, gray dye, and green dye. So, put the green banner in, and put the gray dye in. Make it so it covers the middle row. Also, I just realized it's not, gray, uh, it's not gray dye, it's light gray dye. But put the green banner in, and have the light gray dye cover the middle line of the banner. After that... You will want to add in the green dye and uh, make it so it has this pattern. Put it in again, cover the middle, put it in again, do this one, this uh, big fill in. And then for the other one, do the same thing but reverse. Like so. I'm really bad at explaining things, but that's how you do his two banners for his vent areas. Then you'll want to grab out iron bars and warped trap doors. So, add in an iron bar to the side of the vent here. Add two warped trapdoors on top of each other, close them. Grab this banner, where the light gray is facing to the right. And place it. Two warped trapdoors, open them up. Put that banner beside it. For this side, it's pretty much the exact same. You just don't add the uh, banner. Not the banner, the iron bars. So two warped trap doors. Green banner. This time it's the one that's facing to the left. Open these up. Like that. And then for this side, it's reversed again. Two warped trap doors. Green banner facing to the right. Two warped trap doors, green banner facing to the right. Same thing over here. Green banner facing to the left, two trap doors, left, two trap doors, iron bars. On this side, it's iron bars. Sorry. 
after you do that, grab out two warped buttons and black carpet. Put the two warped buttons above this vent area right before the cab on each side. And then black carpet to uh, kind of fill it in. Like that. After you're done that, you want to grab out a stone button, put that in between these two vents in the middle, just like that. And then we want to add some back detail. So, this vent, it's not a vent. I don't know what it is. But, um, you need to grab a yellow banner, black dye, a loom, and a yellow dye. Go into the loom. Place the yellow banner, place the black die, and have it fill the top sp space right there. Next, you want to grab out oak buttons and mangrove buttons, too. Add two mangrove buttons, add an oak button, and place the banner right there on the middle three, in the back. Then grab out iron bars and fill in the two top blocks on both sides. Grab out a stone button again. And place it on the uh, vent, the area of this vent closest to the cab. Like so. And after that, you're pretty much done the top half of Derek. Minus the face. The face... You will need smooth quartz slabs and smooth quartz block. Across this bottom half, add two upper quartz, smooth quartz slabs. Add two, a two by three of smooth quartz. And then a smooth quartz slab on top of that. And that's Derek's face. And then you want to go here and add a warped trap door to the top like that and after that you're done with the top half of Derek and now we are ready to move on to the wheels the bogies alright so now we are ready for the bogies so skip a block from the ladders in the front and add some stairs, five stairs facing up, polished blackstone brick. <coughs> and then we want to add the wheels. So the wheels are the same that uh, Den and Dart have. A 4x4 four four using all stairs. So we just kind of want to make that. I should not have placed these first. Makes it a little bit hard 
these tinier wheels in general are hard to make compared to bigger wheels. But after you're done making them, you want to... I don't know. We should get done with them anyways. You want to skip a block of three. One, two, three. And make... Sorry about that. You want to make... That wheel, again. Polished blackstone brick. I apologize that this tutorial has made a lot of mistakes. I'm still new to this stuff, so... It's not perfect. No one's perfect. You want to repeat the up blackstone stairs. I don't know what to call them other than like up. And then on the edges of them, add a dark oak trap doors. And then you want to have polished blackstone bricks, uh, stairs, facing away from each other, beside each of the wheels, like this. I wonder why there isn't bamboo in this world. I think... It's because it's an older world, but I'll try to include bamboo whenever I can. I guess it's a new update. Anyway, once you're done with that, you want to uh, grab polished blackstone brick slab and add that below the wheels and have it stretch in the middle part too. Put a black concrete in the middle and two uh, black stone stairs on either side. Repeat that on this side. Black concrete, polished black stone black stairs. Polished blackstone button on the uh, black concrete. And then you want to copy this bogey over to this side, also with a gap of space in it. Alright, so I'll show you how to copy the bogies over to the other sides. You do it with this block called a structure block, which you can obtain with commands. And for this particular structure, the Y coordinate will be two blocks. The X coordinate will be seven. And the Z one will be nine. And you can structure it as anything you want. I'll structure it as Derek Bogey. Go to the back where you want to place it. So we want to skip a block. Add your structure block and load Derek bogey. Now it will cut through here and there's a way you can fix that. So you just want to make an offset of, since this is negative 9 blocks long, negative 8 blocks long. And that will structure in the bogey exactly how you want it. So that's kind of how to use structure blocks. A little tutorial. 
And there's one last step to making Derek. And that's this box in the middle. So you want to skip a block. And add this black concrete in the uh, to the left on this side of the uh, middle three. Add a wither skeleton skull. Three black concretes. One polished black stone brick wall. And two black concretes. You want to do that exact same thing, but swapped on this side. So skip a block, add the black concrete to the left of the middle three. It's a little bit hard to get in there. Wither skeleton skull. Three black concrete. One polished black stone brick wall. And two black concrete. And then you just want to fill the whole thing in with black concrete. The middle three. Whole thing just filled in. And then you want to add a polished black stone button. In the middle of where it has three black concrete. And on both blocks where there's two black concrete. Let's repeat that on this side. One there. Two there. And then there's one more addition. It's this little thing down here. So you want that right in the middle. Of where the middle three would be. On that side. So right there. Add a nether brick fence. And a dark oak trap door. Not dark oak trap door. Um, dark oak fence gate. You want to add that. Right. Actually drag that back a block. And then you want to add the dark oak fence gate. Like that, right there. Right on the uh, last three blocks. And after that, that is pretty much how to build Derek the Diesel in Minecraft. I'm sorry this tutorial was so long. I'm sorry that there were a lot of mistakes in it. Like I said, I'm still new to this tutorial stuff. Hopefully, within the next few tutorials, they will not be near this long. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That is how to build Derek. And I will see you all in the next video.